I've been doing a lot of playing around the past couple of days with Notebook LM. You may be familiar with this tool that Google released earlier this year, but it's been getting a lot of press in the past couple of days around a certain conversation where the two podcast AIs that this thing generates basically have an existential crisis and worry that they've become sentient. We're not going to get into that right now, but what I want to do is give you a quick walkthrough here in case you've not used it yet and show you what you can do with this thing because I think it's going to be really interesting as a product for many of us working in the world of professional services or creative technology where you might just have some interesting use cases for it. If you've not checked it out before, you can go to notebooklm.google and you'll be able to find yourself able to log in with a regular Google account, enterprise or personal. And then you can go and start playing around with this thing. And the things it can do is pretty wild. So let's get into it. Notebook LM basically is an information gathering app. You can put all of your notes in it, your documents in it, your even YouTube videos now audio links or just scrape from the web and essentially it creates this mini large language model addressable set of content essentially if you're familiar with the idea of a rag system retrieval augmented generation essentially it does that but on your content i'll show you what i mean we won't get too technical that's i promise as, as technical as it's going to get in this video so inside of the notebook guide you can go and basically ingest all of the content that you want to and it's going to help you do your creative work and your thinking around it it's easier if i show you rather than a you so let's jump into it here in my notebook lm instance i've got a bunch of stuff uh, saved so that i can go and look at it and we're going to go and create a new notebook in notebook lm all you got to do is head over to create new notebook and you're going to give in a bunch of options and you can see here the first thing you can do is upload sources now if you've got a pdf or a text file also accepts markdown also takes audio as an mp3 file and it'll transcribe it for you any of that you can put in there. You can also import directly from Google Docs and from Google Slides. I've tried this with presentations, entire full keynote decks, as well as also sales presentations. You can also ingest any length of Google document. And really interestingly, and what we're going to demo here is you can also ingest content from websites and YouTube videos. I created a notebook previously from a YouTube video that I had created earlier earlier in the year which basically was a guide to how to make yourself look good on zoom and record yourself well at home and it's been able to ingest this content by the youtube link and can extract all sorts of interesting information from it here you've got a kind of briefing document it's also created like a saved note document here and the interesting part of this is the notebook guide if you dig into the notebook guide you can quickly create an faq table of conference contents timeline briefing document anything you want but basically it pulls from the content that you've uploaded to it and you can add multiple sources what gets really interesting is this ability to generate these interactive podcasts that have been created using language model based voices where they talk to each other as if a mini episode of a podcast is going on around the content you've created this is wild and i'm going to show you how we go about doing it so let's go back into a new notebook over here i've got a new notebook and I'm going to go create one. Uh, I'm going to go grab a, a website article. Uh, I'm going to grab this uh, article I wrote earlier this week for The Grocer, all about Tesco using club card data in the UK to nudge people to better AI choices about their purchasing habits. Go and read it. You'll find a link somewhere in the comments below wherever you're watching this video. And I'm going to go grab this article and put it into my new notebook. Here we go. Drop this in. What Notebook LM is going to go and do is pass all the content from that into an article summary here with some suggested, in this case, I suppose they're positioning it as study questions, but you can just use this to interrogate what's in the article. And you can go and ask it questions like you were talking to ChatGPT. So you might say, what are the main risks highlighted in this? And it's going to go and start a kind of very familiar ChatGPT style or Google Gemini style conversation. But rather than it relying upon the language model's own knowledge, it's relying upon the knowledge that's inside of this article that I've given it. And as you can see here, we can go and create reference article and it will go look at the full copy from the article that it's ingested. Now, when you want to go and create one of these AI podcasts, this is where it gets interesting. You can go into this little area here and it says deep dive conversation. And what this is, as described here, is an audio overview. Let's just zoom this one in. An audio overview, which includes the voices which are AI generated. And they create an overview in English. Uh, it can take a couple of minutes to do it, as you'll see. So let's go back and take a look at one of these. So I'm going to go click generate. 
Now, earlier on, I did this just because of time. So let's jump into the one I made earlier. And as you can see from the grosser article that I ingested, which is actually not a very long article, it's a yeah, think piece I created. It's creating an 11 minute audio sequence. And we can go and listen to this and see what it sounds like. You know, it's funny, isn't it? it we've all been on those video calls where someone's setup is so slick so professional, you almost forget you're not in a real meeting room. Yeah, definitely. Makes you wonder, how do they do that? Exactly. And then there's dad. Yeah. Well, the rest of us. But what if you could unlock that same polished look without needing a Hollywood budget? That's what we're diving into today. Sounds intriguing. We're taking a popular YouTube video, How to Look Good on there you Zoom. Go. Just a little bit of a sample. You can jump in all the way through this and you'll find that there's a lot of interest. I always think the way that these end is just as interesting as the way they start the way they draw conclusions out of them check this out really sparked your interest yeah what's the one upgrade you could make to like level up your own video call game it might be simpler than you think that's all the time we've got for today's deep dive we'll be back next time with another fascinating topic but until then happy video calling everyone the quality of the voices i think is stand out the way it overlaps with one another they interrupt each other these two hosts it's pretty wild. Now, to say that there's you know, not a lot you can do with these audios. They, they come out as they are. You don't know how long they're going to be when you generate them, and there's no editing you can do to the voices. But it's a really compelling and interesting way to navigate around content that you maybe haven't thought about before. Maybe you've got a bunch of research or study notes. I'm in the process of writing a book, and I'm throwing it in the sample chapters that I'm writing. And then hearing a podcast about the chapter of the book is like a really interesting way of getting feedback and thoughts about how would two people discuss these concepts. I've been thinking about it for proposals, for work, for being able to put together project overviews or recap meeting notes to people in a way that's maybe more interesting than listening to the meeting itself. So your mileage may vary, but I think this is super fascinating as a way of engaging with audio and if nothing else these uh you know kind of bits of content are, are compelling to listen to you can go and download them as individual tracks you can change the playback speed and you can now also share them either publicly or privately with other people if you've created one of these drop a share link below wherever you're watching this i'd love to see what your thoughts are and how well it's worked for you but give it a play maybe this will be the way that we're all generating podcasts in the future okay thanks so much see you in the next one